Good morning. Hello, everyone. Glad you're here today. Thanks for joining us. Okay, I'm going to share our screen. Welcome to Kids Chat. Celebrate Wonder. We're glad you're here today. Our faith word has been include. That means to welcome all of God's children in God's love. That's right. All right, our questions this week are, have you ever grown something from a seed? I bet Ms. Lots Pat has. <laughs> yes, I have. What do we need to do to grow God's kingdom? Mm, that's a great question. How can we grow God's kingdom? And the last one is, have you ever felt like, I'm so small, what can I do? I have felt that way. I felt that way. Sometimes I even, yeah, sometimes I still feel that way. Mm -hmm. Me too. Mm -hmm. All right, let's pray together. Dear God, help me to show your love and to include everyone. Amen. Amen. All right, let's sing our song. Jesus loves everyone. have as much fun with that song as Miss Katie and I do. I love that song. It's a great song. <laughs> Go ahead, Miss Katie. Okay, this Bible story this week is from Luke 13, 8 through 18 through 21, God's kingdom. It's called the mustard seed and the yeast. Jesus asked, what is God's kingdom like? What can I compare God's kingdom to? God's kingdom is like a tiny mustard seed that someone planted in a garden. The mustard seed grew and grew and became a tree. It got so big that birds nested in its branches. Jesus continued, God's kingdom is like yeast that a woman hid in flour. 
the yeast made all of the flour grow into raised dough. What do you think God's kingdom is like? Mm -hmm. What do you think, Miss Katie? Well, when I read this story and it says the mustard seed grew and grew and the yeast made the flour grow and grow, I think about how God's kingdom has enough room for everyone and it can continue to grow, um, you know, so there's room for everyone. When I look at that bowl of mustard seed, I think of all of the people and children and God's kingdom and how it takes all of us working together to help God's kingdom to grow and you are part of that growth too even though you're little like a mustard seed <laughs> and speaking of mustard seed here's a picture of mustard seeds that's a lot of mustard seeds but look how tiny they are and then on the right right here is a picture of the plant that the seed grows into that's amazing God's miracles yes all right, here is our wonder video for this week. Greetings, everyone. It's Carly. Have you ever thought about how a forest becomes a forest? Do trees just jump out of the ground from nowhere? How do so many large and amazing trees grow and keep growing throughout time? Here's the amazing thing. Every forest started from just one tiny seed. In the scripture today, Jesus is talking about God's kingdom. Instead of talking about big mansions, mountains, or other huge things, Jesus says God's kingdom is like a mustard seed, like this one. Can you see it? Look a little closer. A mustard seed is so tiny, even though it's tiny, when it's planted, it can grow into something much bigger. Remember, if one seed grows into one tree, eventually we can have a forest. Just like one act of kindness can grow into something much bigger. You never know if someone is having a bad day or not. You can be the reason it gets a little bit better. There are so many things we can do. The smallest ideas can turn into big dreams. Small moments like telling someone good job or helping with the dishes can make all the difference. One day, I was having a bad day. My older brother went to college and I missed him. When I went to school, one of my friends made a card for me. It was a small thing that changed my entire day. It made me want to do something kind too. So I made a card for my parents because I knew they were missing my brother too. Doing one small thing may not seem like a lot, but it can grow and grow. Everyone's small act matters. Remember, a forest starts with just one seed. Building a giant house starts with just one nail. In today's story, Jesus reminds us that small things can make a big difference. We get to help God's community grow bigger and bigger with love and kindness. No one is too young and no one is too old to be included in God's work. We get to put seeds of love into this world and watch them grow. Remember, even the smallest things matter. Now, it's time for you to wonder. You know, I'd like all of you to think about what small thing you can do every day to help share God's love and grow his kingdom. I was listening to the radio this morning, and I heard someone say that they challenged themselves to say thank you to somebody every day, to tell somebody they know thank you. So maybe that's your small thing you can do. Maybe it's simply as walking into the classroom at school with a smile on your face, or maybe doing something special for mom or dad to put a smile on their face. Think about one thing that you can do to be kind to someone and to help God's kingdom grow. And there's nothing that's too small. It's all important. Nothing. Very important. Our faith word is include to welcome all of God's children in God's love. All right, our Bible verse is from Psalm 145, verse nine. The Lord is good to everyone and everything. 
God's compassion extends to all his handiwork. Let's read that one more time. The Lord is good to everyone and everything. God's compassion extends to all his handiwork. Nice job, guys. All right, so we have a little activity for you to do. First thing I want you to do is squat down into a ball, wrap your arms around your legs, and make yourself as small as you can, and say, I am a seed. I am a seed. Now stand halfway up, bend forward, and put your arms out, and say, I, I am growing every day. I am growing every day. Now stand up a little bit more with your hands on your hips, and say, I am growing big and strong. I am growing big and strong. And now stand up and place your hands above your head and make yourself as tall and as big as you can be and say, I can grow big and strong. I can grow big and strong. And if you pray every day with God's help, you can grow big and strong and God's kingdom will come. Amen. Amen. All right, friends. Remember, remember. God loves God you. you. God remembers you. God remembers you. And he is and always God is all with you. Always. <laughs> Love you guys. Bye, friends. Thanks Have for joining us. We'll see Have you next week on Kids Chat. Yes. Have a great week.